Welcome to the Three Minute Gestalt. This is unit number eight on organismic self-regulation. So that sounds like a bit of a mouthful. What do we mean by that? Well, Fritz contrasts, Fritz Perls contrasts organismic self-regulation with what he calls shudistic self-control. So that is, do we do things according to what our organic energy is, what our feeling is, what our inspiration is, what our natural timing is, or do we do things according to what we're told, what the proper way to act is, or the proper rhythm for things. And of course, we live in a society that has its laws, its conventions. We need to get along with other people and families and workplaces. So obviously, compromise is necessary. We can't just do whatever we want to all the time. However, a lot of the time, people go to the other extreme, and they live according to the dictates of of the instructions and rules around them, and they lose track of their own natural energies. So what we're doing in Gestalt is we're helping restore a sense of aliveness by getting people uh, focused again on, well, what's right for you? You know, how much time do you want to spend on the holidays and activities? And how much time do you want to spend in quiet time? Um, so we sort of pull people back from others' expectations, including us as a therapist, and help get them in touch with a, a much quieter, deeper sense of what's right for them. It's hard to, in today's world, it's very busy, there's lots of pressure, there's lots of deadlines often, and people lose track of themselves. So even within that busyness, we still help people tune into themselves and find what their energy is telling them and help them listen to themselves. Now, shudistic control often comes from the outside, comes from other people's instructions or other people's needs or agendas. And so what we do is we help people find ways to meet that without just completely compromising themselves. Organismic self-regulation also relates to the sort of biological, the, the being, the, the body, the feelings, because on that level, there's a certain kind of truth that often gets overridden by mental activity and mental agendas. Um, so again, we slow down in the Gestalt session, even though it might be a limited length, we still try to find the rhythm of the person and tune into that rhythm and help them become aware of their own rhythm. Um, the other aspect that I'll say about organismic self-regulation is that we have what we call the faith in the wisdom of the organism, which means that we really trust that people's innate knowing, their, their innate sense of themselves, their, their body information has, uh, is a very good guideline for kind of how to live out their lives in many ways, that um, by ignoring our body signals, by ignoring our feelings too much, by overriding them for the sake of the environment or our duties or being a good husband or wife or mother or father, although sometimes that's necessary, um, but it, when it happens too much, people just lose track of what's who they are, basically. So who they are is something we're trying to restore awareness and feeling to, and we trust that if we do that, then people's own rhythm is going to carry them forward in the right direction in their life. We don't need to teach them so much. We don't need to guide them. We don't need to instruct them. We don't even need to so much give them new skills. We just need to get them in touch more fully with who they are at the most core level.